Hey, how's it going? In today's video, I want to talk to you about my semen retention journey and some stuff I've learned along the way, some benefits. And yeah, this is actually the longest I've gone. I'm a bit over four months, a bit past the 130 day mark, which is fucking awesome. And I wanna talk to you about where it all started. You know, it's interesting. When I was 15 years old, that's when I first heard of NoFap. I think it came across in one of my videos on my YouTube feed. It was like a video about NoFap, like 300 days of NoFap, like changed my life. And I was laughing at that. I thought it was really stupid. I was like, what is this? This is stupid. I, I remember even taking a screenshot of that video thumbnail because I thought, man, this is so stupid. I, I probably still have it. I can even put it up on the screen. And I sent it in the group chat of my high school friends. And yeah, that was that. That's when I technically first heard of NoFap. Eventually, probably even not that long time passed after when I was like, oh, this is actually something good. This is something interesting. Probably around when I was close to turning 16, I quit porn, or maybe it was when I was 16, but around that time I quit porn and it wasn't very difficult for me. I slowly stopped fapping. I don't remember the exact rate at which I quit that, but you know, I don't remember it being particularly hard. And yeah, from there at 16, I did my first long like semen retention streak, which is a bit over a hundred days. That was my first long streak. I think it was 101 days. Then I had a girlfriend when I was 16 for a while. So during that time, wasn't on semen retention, but technically on NoFap, but to be fair, you're still ejaculating and that's, the real issue if you're addicted to sex or addicting to fapping you know it's kind of like the same issues so semen retention is the way to go and no fap i guess if you're not having sex then no fap but it's basically semen retention at that point so then i eventually broke up with my girlfriend i was 17 and i was back on that retention grind I had multiple streaks of over 100 days and my longest probably probably being around 120 days but I got to that over 100 days mark probably like three four maybe even five times but 120 days was really my plateau that's what I found because that's where the urges really got hard for me like before that you know, it was chill and it wasn't really much of a challenge. I was just driven. I knew this was good for me and I could push without much difficulty. But that point at around 120 days where really you have difficulty sleeping and you just have urges and like, it's just like tough times. But this time I knew it was coming. I knew it wasn't something strange happening to me. I knew this was what was supposed to happen and I just had to overcome it. So this time my brain wasn't so focused on making excuses and I think I mostly overcame this stage and it's going well. So hopefully we keep on going strong at about 130 five days and i'm really proud you know we're gonna hit 150 200 and then uh unlimited days <laughs> until uh i guess maybe i have a kid one day anyways i'm getting off topic so yeah that was the semen retention journey how it started how it's going now some of the benefits i've noticed 
The biggest I would say is confidence. Just your confidence in yourself, the the self-love and that just kind of like boosts everything. Like, you know, people say like increased attraction. I definitely feel that. But sometimes I wonder like maybe it's just because I've gotten more confident, you know? Like confidence definitely plays a part in the attraction. But obviously, similar attention past a certain point will have girls being more attracted to you, which is pretty cool. And just like people in general, like I noticed one time at the gym, like I was just like saying hi to people. People were saying hi to me just like that. And like, I mean, I'm not even talking girls, like just like people in general. And like that would that would not usually happen. You know, we'll just talk like that. You know, it's just maybe like that magnetic effect. But yeah. This is how it's going. I didn't really script this video or anything. I've kind of said everything I had to say. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, I'd appreciate if you liked the video and subscribed. And you know, we're on that grind, all this energy. I want to use it as much as I can to post these videos often because this is really meaningful for me and I want to provide value for you. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one and I'll see you very soon.